The first thing you'll notice as we enter the shellfish lab is the sight and sound of water. It's water that provides the clams their food, phytoplankton, which is being pumped in from the harbor by two submersible pumps. The pumps run 24 hours a day, seven days a week, from June through October, and the shellfish seed will grow in the gray circular things called silos. There are screens at the bottom of these silos which will house the baby clams which are arriving later today. We will raise two and a half million quahog seed this summer, as well as oysters. We're going to grow oysters for the first time this year in the shellfish lab. There are 12 tanks and water is pumped in here 24 days, 24 hours a day, seven days a week. It's managed and maintained by the Harbor Natural Resources Department and uh, some shellfish interns which will work in July and August. So this is day one of 2007. The tanks are ready to go and the seed will be arriving shortly. These are the two submersible pumps hanging off Witchmere Pier. They're right there underwater and they are connected to two green hoses which run along underwater and then up along the dock and to the shellfish lab. This is what underneath the shellfish lab looks like. It's a maze of PVC pipes, gate valves, ropes, drain pipes. It's, uh, it's quite, quite, the, uh, quite the setup underneath the lab. This cannot be accessed during high tide, only low tide for repair.